Everyone deals with stress and hardships, but imagine not having a home to go to, a place to sleep, of warmth, comfort, security. Walking through the hallways here, the eyes that return an indifferent glance may belong to more than just another empty face. Our high school has a handful of students that live as few could imagine, without a home. I needed to do everything by, my, by myself. Um, if I needed to go to a place, I, I walk to it or take the bus. And yeah, if I need information, I, I need to get it. This student, who wished not to be named, has lived on her own for nearly a year, spending the nights in a homeless shelter. Sometimes I can do the same things, the same things as them. Um, because I can't, <laughs> yeah. The at-risk coordinator here, Mrs. Soria, helps these students find places to live, even going as far as finding simple food and clothes. You know, you have a parent come in here, I, I don't have a place, I don't have any money, and uh, that, that's actually the challenge toward finding them somewhere right there and then, and uh, not turning them away, say, oh, come back two or three days. Well, she has, she has helped me in a lot of stuff with, like, I can go talk with her and she would understand me fine and, and things like that. She, she has been good help for me. These students come from all walks of life and are often just victims of unfortunate circumstances. Uh, you know, when they come in and they tell you, Miss, uh, my two parents were, were picked up and taken to jail yesterday. I mean, situations like that, like, wow, sometimes you think one, but when two of them at the same time, I don't have nowhere to go, I don't know where to go, uh, you know, and it's like, uh, those stories are just uh, very touching and it's like, but I make sure that by the time they leave my office, you know, uh, whether it's counseling, whether it's getting help from outside agencies, by the time the student leaves my office, uh, you can tell that they leave in better spirits because they know that they're going to have somewhere to be that night. Uh, actually, I had to learn to speak English, so, so it was more difficult for me. I think moving is the hard, hardest thing in in this process. But opportunities, I think that I can do exactly the same that other people. Despite their past, all of them look forward to a future free from the grips of poverty. I want a career in petroleum engineering. I want to be a judge and study laws. From their experiences. No matter what obstacle comes in life, that's your past. Let's look at the future and and you can overcome it. You don't like need the money and like stuff like that to go for your goals. You just need yourself and like to push yourself and like get it far. When you you know that uh, you don't have something, you want to like fight for it and do whatever you can to have it. May not have a big home, but hey, I say I have a home. This has been Quinn Gutierrez reporting.